Hi there. Namaste. Welcome to day 19 of 30 day yoga for weight loss challenge with me Naveen Sharma. Our today's class is all about power yoga. If you have done already 18 sessions of the series, many congratulations. You are welcome in this session. In case you have not done the previous sessions, I highly request you that you do the previous sessions first and then come for this session because it's in the entire series is built on progression and you will be able to find the best benefits when you do the sessions in a sequence. I hope you understand that and now without a further ado, let's get started. Let's keep the back straight and we'll sit in sukhasana, bring the hands in chinna mudra, keeping your eyes closed. We'll go ahead for soft inhale and soft exhale. See if we can increase the length of your inhale, length of your exhale. Let us repeat this affirmation in your mind for three times. I am energetic and full of vitality. And on that positive note, bring your palms together in namaste. Going for one more deep inhale and exhale. Gently start to rub your palms, creating good amount of energies in your palms, bringing your palms to the face, energize yourself, looking at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. All right, so let's get started now with Kapalabhati. We'll go ahead for three rounds. Each round is going to be one minute. So let's get started. Now we'll relax, going for three breaths. Starting the second round. relax preparing your body and mind for round 3 
and let's get started. And let us stop. Observing the changes happening within the body and mind. Very slowly bring your palms together in Namaste. Start to rub your palms. Bring the palms to your face. And then slowly look at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. Alright, so let's move ahead now towards warm-up. The warm-up is Balasana forward, followed by Bhujangasana. Let's quickly look at it. We will slowly coming into Balasana at the end of our mat. So make sure you are here right now. You take your hands forward. Now we'll do it together. From here, let's take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale and coming forward, lie down on your belly. Now try to have your palms by the side of your chest. Coming up for Bhujang Asana. Inhale. Exhale. Again, we will go back to Balasana. Let's go for four more rounds exactly the same way. Inhale first. Exhale. Forward. Inhale. Bhujangasan. Exhale. Balasan. Again inhale here. Exhale. Lie down flat on your belly. Inhale. Bhujangasan. Exhale. Back. Inhale, exhale, inhale Bhujangasan, exhale Balasan, last round, inhale, exhale, inhale Bhujangasan, exhale Balasan. And from there, very slowly, we will come back. Let's go ahead now for our power yoga sequence. And the first one is going to be Adho Mukhashwanasana, followed by Ardhamalasana and hold over there. So let's go ahead. First thing, you'll look at it. So you'll come here, going back to Adho Mukhashwanasana or Parvat Asana. You can have your knees slightly bent as well. From here, you will take your right leg forward and left leg forward, bringing the hip almost in line with the knee from here you will raise your hands up higher you'll be here just for a second or two and then you take your both the palms down and then we move back to the adho mukhashvanasan that's exactly what we will be doing right now just take a deep breath inhale exhale pushing back and then both the feet behind your palms and then let the lower body be as it is Lifting your hands up higher, inhale, exhale, going back to Adho Mukhashwanasan. Let's go for second round, legs forward, inhale, exhale, back, again inhale, exhale, legs forward, third round, inhale, hands up, 
exhale moving back let's keep moving together fourth round inhale up exhale back last round to go both the legs behind your palms and from there inhale exhale moving back to adho mukha svanasan and then relax your legs down taking a deep breath inhale there exhale it out we'll go ahead for our next asana which will be working on our core so lie down on your back and quickly look at it first from here you will take your both the legs almost 90 from there you will take your both the legs towards the right side and then you take them forward 10 you take them left and then you bring it up all right so like this we'll go ahead five rounds clockwise we come back and then five anti clockwise any time you find it is giving you challenge on your low back you can have your palms below the low back also or you can just leave the practice if you find any sort of pain on your low back all right so let's get started now we'll take a deep breath inhale exhale start to take your hands or legs down and then forward left and then up you can have your hands slightly away two breathing in and breathing out three keep going four breathe in breathe out five wonderful now on the other side anti clockwise left forward right up breathe in breathe out keep going 2 and relax felt it on your abdomen and core that's exactly where it works and it works wonderfully just take a deep breath inhale exhale let's take a turn to the side and going ahead for our next asana which is santulan asan variation quickly look at it for this one you will have to open the legs almost about shoulder width and hands anyway will be about shoulder width from here you will give it a try to lift opposite limbs for this you need to have your abdominal region tight and the glutes tight all right just look at it how exactly it'll happen so you will lift your right hand and left leg you slowly bring it down and then right leg left hand now this could be challenging to find the balance any time it becomes too challenging do it from here with the knees down but continue to pull the belly in so that you are still getting work done on your core All right, so let's go ahead for five rounds. Just, just take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale. Coming into Santulan Asan. Let's get started. Right hand and left leg. Slowly bring it down. Left hand, right leg. Down, change. Second round. Left side. Three, another side. Fourth round. Inhale up. Exhale down. Five. and we are done with this this is a bit challenging but works amazingly on your core your wrist strength uh, shoulder strength and elbow strength 
all right let's quickly now go ahead for our next one the next one is going to be combination of two asanas virabhadrasana 1 followed by virabhadrasana 3 let's look at it how we can simplify it for ourselves so first thing this is what is your virabhadrasana 1 your right toe will be pointing to the right left toe is diagonal knees exactly on top of it and then you take your hands up higher this is virabhadrasana 1 Now from there, Vira Bhadrasana three looks like this. From here, you will try and lean forward and go halfway down. In case this is becoming challenging, then you can go ahead and close to a wall. Raise your hands up higher. Inhale, exhale, lean forward, and make sure you take the support of the wall. And then again, you come back. Inhale. Got it. So you can give it a try using a wall. in case finding a balance is becoming challenge otherwise give it a try on the mat center like i'm doing it all right together we'll do now open the legs wide not too wide turn your right toe to the right and bending your right knee raise your hands up higher inhale and now exhale leaning forward a little bit open the arms going halfway inhale and come back again to warrior 1 exhale going halfway again inhale coming back exhale 3 and come back you can use the wall any time you want 4 inhale back 5 let's stay here for 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 very slowly we come back inhale and then exhale relax wonderful going on the other side now this time your left toe will be pointed to the left right to diagonal bending your left knee let's get started both the hands up higher inhale exhale going warrior 3 inhale warrior 1 exhale warrior 3 slow and steady third round inhale warrior 1 exhale warrior 3 once again inhale warrior 1 exhale warrior 3 coming back inhale this is the last round we'll hold it for 5 exhale warrior 3 holding it for 5 1 2 3 4 and then again come back inhale and then exhale relax all right how are you feeling it's a wonderful transition from warrior 1 to warrior 3 if you are using the wall it's absolutely fine keep using it and eventually keep yourself away from the wall and build a lot more strength in the low body and balance at the same time all right let's go ahead now for our next asana which is going to be shalab asan so let's lie down on your belly and from here you will try and keep your hands below the thighs all right now the the way you keep it classically is this you take your palms below your thighs like this but sometimes it is challenging so you can give your give it a try to keep your palms like this below your thighs so go ahead with the one that works best for you right now i'm keeping it classical way both the palms below the thighs all right chin down now from here you will just lift your legs without bending them so inhale lift your legs exhale down like this total 5 times fifth time we'll hold it let's start now together inhale exhale 
How much of the body allows? Two. Inhale. Exhale. If both the legs are challenged, just lift one. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Exhale. Last round, we'll hold it for five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Slowly bring your legs down. Raising your hands. Take your hands by the side. Inhale. Exhale. Very slowly. Come back. It's a wonderful asana to build great amount of strength on your lower back. All right, so let's go ahead now for our next asana. This is Vashishta asana on the forearms with a variation. Let's quickly look at it first. You will come down on your forearms like this. Your legs will be slightly wider. You turn your both the heels down and then you come like this. You can also lift your hand up higher or you keep it here. Now, the, what you need to do is let it, it, let it go down and then exhale, lift it up. Inhale a little bit lower. Exhale, lift it up. That's it. We'll keep going for five rounds with the left, five with the other side. All right, let's get started. Coming onto the forearms, turning your heels down, and then start. Inhale down, exhale, slowly lift it up. Feel it here. Again, two, exhale up. Three, Exhale, up, four, exhale, up, last time, five, exhale, up, hold it for five now, one, breathing in and out, two, feel it on your obliques, three, just breathing in and out, four, and five, awesome, I'll just turn the side, you don't have to, we'll go ahead with the left forearm now. Open the legs wide, drop your heels down to the left, either hand up or here. Let's start. Inhale, exhale up, two, three, four, five and hold it there for five, one, two, breathing in and out, three, four, five, and then gently coming back. All right, time for hold of the day. We'll go ahead and hold Virabhadrasana to 45 seconds, both the sides. All right, Virabhadrasana to, let's do it together, opening the legs. We take a deep breath, inhale. Exhaling, turning the right toe to the right and bending the right leg. While bending, make sure the right knee is exactly on top of your right ankle. Back sole is slightly towards me. Perfect, pull the belly in, tighten your glutes, and now we'll hold it for 45 seconds together. Just breathing in and out with me. Inhale and exhale. Going for long inhale and slow exhale. And continue to maintain the Engagement of your abdominal region and glutes. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe. We are very close. Keep breathing in and out. And we are done with this. Straightening the right leg, turn the right toe towards me. We'll take the left to the left. Just take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, coming into the position first. Pull the belly in again, glutes engaged. And going for 45 seconds from now. Just breathing in and out. Have a beautiful smile on your face. And Keep holding this.
breathe in, breathe out. Last 15 seconds, keep holding it, just be there with me. Allow this to strengthen your entire body. And we are done. Very slowly now, straighten the legs and relax. All right, so here we are done with our power yoga sequence. Now I didn't tell you about asana of the day today for you to be able to shoot and post. Asana of the day was our warrior one to warrior three. So I'll just quickly show you. This is warrior one, you will do it. And then you'll go for warrior three. This is gonna be your asana of the day. Shoot it in a video, post it on our Facebook community, uh, Yoga with Naveen, and then we will be able to continue to progress through there. Now let's go ahead for our next asana, which is gonna be helping us relax the body a little bit. So let's come down on the knees. Now you can face towards me. All you need to do is to open the legs wide along with your ankle. So I should be able to see your toes like you are able to see mine right now. And open the knees wide as much as we al the body allows. Once you come here, you will start to get a lot of stretches from your inner thighs. All right. Now, if it's too much, try to just be here. If it's not, then try and get your forearms down. And from here, see if you can push the pelvis a little bit back and maintain that. That's it. We'll just hold it here for the next 10 breaths. One. Two. Breathe in and breathe out. Three, four, five, keep observing the changes, six, push the pelvis back, seven, eight, Nine, and 10. Now very slowly, coming back on your palms, if you were on your forearms, and then bring your legs closer. Wonderful. Now we'll go ahead and lie down on our back for the next asana and the last asana. Let's lie down. All right, let's go ahead for our next asana, which is Jathar Parivartan Asana B. Quickly look at it, how exactly we'll do it. So you'll open the legs wide, uh, open the hands wide, sorry, and you'll take your legs up higher together. From there, you will try and take your both the legs closer to your palm, and then you will look to the left side. That's it. Now, it could be possible that your legs are not straightening fully. So you can also have your legs a little bit bent and do the same thing. All right, so let's get started. Hands by the side, legs up either slightly bent or fully straightened. You can pull the toes towards you and then slowly let your legs go down to the right side. And then you look to the left side. Just breathing in and breathing out for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gently come back, raising your both the legs up and this time your both the legs will go to the left side and you will look to the right. Just breathing in, breathing out. 10, nine, eight, 
सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन वेरी जेंटली ब्रिंग यू हेड बैक ब्रिंग योर लेग्स बैक एंड देन gently relax now stretch your legs forward we'll go ahead for the much deserving shavasana right now we'll open the toes wider relax your toes looking forward and then relax each vertebra at a time hands by the side of your body armpits free eyes closed relax here completely loosen up your body right now and bring your attention to your abdominal region every time you inhale observe the belly rising up every time you exhale observe the belly falling down now let's deepen the relaxation with humming sound inhale stop humming start to observe the changes within the body and mind body and mind are becoming more and more relaxed your body and mind are completely relaxed slowly come back to the body consciousness start to move your toes your fingers bring your legs closer pointing your toes interlock your palms and stretch the arms behind relax yourself now loosen up fold your legs let's turn to the side give support to your head very slowly coming back and sitting in a comfortable position back straightened shoulders rolled and back palms together in namaste going for a deep inhale and exhale let us start to rub our palms creating good amount of energies bring your palms to your face energizing yourself looking at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks all right my dear friend this is the end of our today's session do let me know how are you finding the entire series and how did you find our today's session clock in your 10k steps today as well 
I'll see you in my next session. Until then, you take care. Bye-bye. Namaste.